I am waiting. for you to to a mission of great importance. Your loft wing carried you back, limp and unconscious. Limp. The words. You're the worst. Fortunately, you don't appear to have any serious injuries. For that much, we'd be grateful. <laughs> hmm. What? Harmonia. Where's Zelda? Who's with you? Is she not? What's happened to my daughter? I just noticed how the tune that's playing right now is reusing the tune of Fi's theme or Fee's theme or however you pronounce her name. I never noticed that before. I love it when games reuse tunes. Black like Tornado, you say. Ordinary Storm. Like, it's playing a much slower version of do 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 like that tune but it's playing it much slower here and in a different way to express different feelings i love that that's such a brilliant like thing that you can do with music games that most games don't do <laughs> see there's the tune Ooh. let's not push yourself You're still recovering Tell me, I saw Zelda today. Did anything about her seem off? Mm. 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 See, I was talking about the surface then. You've been having dreams about a great mission? Interesting. Ooh. Mm. Sorry, I was lost in thought there for a moment. It felt very strange, but I doubt there's much of a connection between these things. Concern for Zelda. So long as she's with her Loftwing, I'm sure she'll be fine. Either way, Daybreak has yet to arrive. It'd be very difficult to spot one girl and her bird in the dark of night. It'd also be very dangerous. Mm -hmm. Rest now, Hermione. Zelda's going to be fine. I doubt they're alive. But yeah, Undertale does do that with music as well. My favorite games typically do that with music. Undertale as well does do a good job with that. With reusing tunes for different tracks. Quite brilliantly. Well then. I'm gonna see what's going on out here then. Yeah, this tune is what that last tune was like kind of reorchestration of. Hey. Hey, where are you going? Oh, whoa, what's this? Where are you going? I always used to call her Fee, but I'm, I know the canon way is Fi, and I keep seeing people calling her that, and now in my brain I don't know what the heck to call her anymore. Even though I used to prefer the name Fee, but now I, now I don't even know anymore. I swear, if I jump off this ledge again by accident. This thing. Round this away. Don't mind me, we're just speed running this here now. Oh dang it, not this thing. This thing. I hate this. You stay away from me, please. Get my stamina back real quick. Yeah, you don't even really have to worry about that thing, even though it has like a small cutscene to it. Oh, do I have to freaking... Dang it, man. There's a chest down there, but you know, whatever. Whatever, man. Up the hill we go. Oh, well, what's this? Don't you dare. Don't you dare. 
No! Leave me be! I didn't mean to target him. Leave me be. Oh, maybe I shouldn't have been doing that. It's taking a while to climb up. Okay, never mind. It's fine. It's all fine then. This away. Where are you going? Into the thing. Hmm, then. So we're heading into the statue. Guess we're heading on in there. Interesting perspective there. I guess it's just showing that that's the statue. Inside the statue of the goddess. Oh, well, what's this? Oh, well, what's this? No, I don't know. <laughs> the one chosen by my creator and waiting for you. They a role in a great destiny. According to your social customs, I should provide you with my personal designation. Or should I say fear or fire? I don't even know. I'm probably going to switch them. He is the name I was given. a single purpose long before the recorded memory of me. I must aid you in fulfilling the great destiny that is your burden to carry. Let's take up this sword, one chosen by my career. It's your destiny. Strange dreams troubling your sleep, my sudden appearance, uncertainty surrounding the fate of the world. For the circumstances, it's only logical that you would exhibit some to minimize your uncertainty. Allow me to share some information. My projections indicate that this information has a high probability of altering your current emotional state. The one you seek, Honorable Builder, is still alive. <laughs> Spirit Maiden, when you call Zelda, another chosen one, parts of the same group. Therefore, where do you wish to meet with your friend? I highly recommend you take up this sword before you set out to search for it. Does that information invigorate you? Are you ready to accept this sword? Some of further persuasive method measures will not be required. In the name of my creator, draw the sword to the skyward. Easier said than done here with this controller. Examine. Ready stance. A remove. Okay. Aha! Ah! <laughs> I have the Cabela's Wii Remote Rifle in my grasp with this weapon. Nothing shall be able to stand in our path. Goddess Sword. This mysterious sword, or this mysterious Wii Remote Rifle, is bathed in divine light. Memories of violent battles surge within the sword when you raise it to the sky. The skyward Strike is now a maximum strength. Recognition complete, Master. Harmonia, my master. We got a cool glowy sword now. Harmonia. Ooh. Uh, I'll just leave then. My suspicions, but until now I wasn't sure. But here we are in the chamber of the sword, the very place where it was foretold that the legend would day appear. It is said that this place was left to our goddess herself. The very knowledge of this room's existence is a secret passed down to a select few each generation. And full of words. The light of the goddess's sword shines bright. A great apocalypse will wake, will wake from its long slumber. Do not fear, for it is then that a youth, guided by my hand, will reveal himself in a place most sacred. It started days ago. 
sword that I've kept secret all these years. I began to give off a faint, otherworldly light. First, I was sure I was see well, I was sure I was seeing things. Here, alone with the sword. Simply no other explanation. Ever dream the prophecy of legend pass in my life. words I have sworn to keep secret are true before my very eyes. Youth will be guided by one born of the blade, one who is also youthful in likeness, wise with knowledge of measure. The best thing to say, better ah, yes, the oral tradition, one of the least reliable methods of information retention and transmission. It appears that critical sections of the passage have been lost over the generations. <laughs> The youth who draws forth the guiding sword shall be known as the goddess's chosen hero. It is he who possesses an spirit. It shall be burdened with the task of abolishing the shadow of the Makops from the land. Such is his destiny. The spirit of the blade at his side shall soar over the clouds and plummet the blade with the spirit made bring forth a piercing light that resurrects the land. My father's old texts talk about a place called the surface. Tales describe a whole world below, far more vast than Skyloft. We must embark on a great journey beneath the clouds, the vast realm of the surface. It is only through this journey that you fulfill the mission set before you by my crew. It's also the only method available for you to reunite with the spirit me, both elders. This is no easy task, Kuro. The world below is a forsaken place. To reach it, you must pierce the cloud barrier below. In memory, no one has ever done this. Magic! Magic! This tablet will illuminate a path through the clouds to the land below. Hold an iPad. Sit with an altar behind me. I was gonna say you got the thing, but it's a different tune. You got the emerald tablet. The weathered surface of this heavy stone tablet feels very old. Master, first thing you must do is hit the crest sitting in this room with a skyward strike. These blasts are formed of pure energy that charges within your blade when you're in the sky. Once you have charged your blade, face the crest and swing your sword to send out a powerful skyward strike. I'll try it, but I'm probably gonna do a spin attack instead by accident, aren't I? Let's pull up the sword. Hold it up. Huh. Oh, I freaking did the jab by accident. Okay, whatever you say, Wemo Rifle. I'll take it, I suppose. Works for me. Ow, I knew I was gonna yank out those headphones. I told you so. You said it was gonna happen. I just did it. Ah! Examine. Examine it real good. Yes, take the freaking massive tablet the size of your head out of your pocket. Seems like a good idea. Here, I'll put it over this shoulder now. <laughs> I'll put the Wiimote rifle over this shoulder now instead. Because putting it over that shoulder pulls out my headphone. I forgot about that. Good thing I didn't pull the Wii U gamepad off like the stand there where it's charging. In fact, I can probably move it down here again. Probably charged up enough by now. Let's move it down here onto the ground where it's out of- Ow! Ow, dang it, it's sitting on top of the cord again. Ow. Ow, I guess I turned the camera off for cutscenes still. Master Harmonia, it is done. Until now, the loud barrier created by the goddess has separated the world you know from one below. The habit you placed in the altar has opened a small rift in the barrier. Use it to travel through the clouds to the realm below. I've recognized you as my master, but it is my duty to follow you. You may go. I reside within your sword and accompany you in your trap. Press down on the D-pad to summon me wherever you require your words. Require my assistance. Ammonia, listen a moment. The nature of the great apocalypse mentioned in the old texts is a complete mystery to me. For it turns out to be, it seems that both you and Zelda have big roles to play in the destiny of this land. Just think. What if this Fee says is true? Zelda's alive. Alive, no doubt coming to terms with whatever it is the goddess has in store for her. Should you heed the call of destiny? I don't know what dangers you may have to face, Harmony, especially down there. But if you've decided to brave the unknown, 
Find my daughter and bring her back to me. Mm. What we've seen here today defies explanation. It was only the start of our journey. Please, see it through and prove the legend's true. Okay! <laughs> you do your people proud. Dawn is drawing me. It's been a long night for the both of us, hasn't it? You have a great journey before you, Harmonia. And those clothes, they don't look up to the task. The uniform you were to receive for winning the race should be ready by now. A sturdy uniform like that will prove much more suitable for a long journey. Better change before you go. <laughs> Just like I had to change into my Enharmonia cosplay for the stream. I would love to save my progress, thank you for asking. Oop. Saving in progress. Saved. Cool, man. Green uniform is what our knights will be wearing this year. To be honest, I have my doubts about the color. Broadly enough, seeing you wear this uniform, I can't imagine a more fitting color for you. As though you were born to wear it. Now we're decked out in the typical Link wear. You're on your journey. Be sure to stop by some of the shops of the bazaar here in town to equip yourself properly for the travels ahead. I will return to my quarters and see if I can glean more useful information from the ancient texts. You're always welcome to stop by if you have questions. You and Zelda shall be in my prayers. Goddess watch over and guide you both. <laughs> Alrighty then. Well. We sure didn't do as much Skyward Sword during- Oh. Oh, yeah. Dang it, man. Green uniform looks so adventurous. Sure, look like a knight now. Master said you're heading out to look for Zelda. You're really something else. I could never imagine myself doing what you're about to do. Put a lot of work into making this. You should take it with you. That's a pouch I have, right? The adventure pouch. You can store all kinds of useful items in this handy piece of gear. I would love to. Four slots. It's an adventure pouch. It's for adventures. It's neat because you can fit four things in it that you'll need on your big journey. Buy all kinds of stuff with the bazaar that you can put in this pouch. You should go look. Buy some potions and a shield. They fit in the pouch. They might come in handy on an adventure. Monia, I just know you'll find Zelda for us. Thanks, man. Alrighty, um... <laughs> so yeah, we definitely didn't do as much Skyward Sword during like the three hours that I allocated for it as I originally planned. Considering that happened. That bar right up there, that kind of happened. So, um... You know, <laughs> we got a little bit sidetracked with stuff that we had to do for like the cumulative goals. Cumulative, jeez, words. Master, I have an update regarding the stone tablet and the resulting column of light created. The tablet must be updated. Please wait while we install important updates. The column of light has appeared to the south of our location. The signs indicate it has created an opening into the cloud barrier to the land below. I must also caution you that descending to the surface armed with only a sword, resulting in increased probability of survival. If you have already done so, I advise you to purchase a shield and potions at the bazaar, preparation for your journey. Another subject to discuss, Master. As you are accustomed to the controls, you are free to modify the on-screen interface. On the gear screen, select interface to change the on-screen display to suit your preferences. Got it. Got it. But yeah, we're gonna be wrapping this up pretty soon here, so I mean... Yeah, yeah, I know. So yeah, we kind of had to do like all the cumulative goals, which was like changing into this cosplay, playing and singing, like the piano and guitar and stuff like that, and then contacting guitar help services to the best of my ability. It looks like a number didn't work, fortunately. So I guess we're... So I guess we didn't even get to make it to the surface in the three hours that I allocated. I thought we might make it to the end of the first dungeon originally, but guess not. <laughs> we got a little bit sidetracked. In a good way, though. Look at this guy's eyes. He looks like a cat. He looks like a very intensely staring cat. Oh, boy's ready for What is this? What is it that my eyes behold? Oh, young man, with calamitous visions appear before me. 
You might choose not to believe me. My eyes foresee a hazardous, thorny road ahead for you. But I can foresee what will befall you. For I'm a fortune teller. Trust my piercing eyes. Listen to my pure and innocent voice. I will do you no harm. It's deeply into my eyes and come closer. Um, hello. <laughs> Gaze into my eyes. Stare deeply into my eyes. His eyes see many things. Oh yes, these lovely round eyes can even see into the future. Allow me to tell your fortune, boy. Do you doubt these eyes? I look upon your shirt, boy. I see a single thread loose on your sleeve stitching. Nothing can hide from these eyes. Normally, I seek ten rupees to tell a fortune. But this time, I will charge but one rupee. So do you want me to tell your fortune? Do you dare discover what fate these eyes see? Only one rupee. I'll do it just to see it here. Yes, I knew it. Ah, what a treat. You're the first customer I've had in a while. Oh, I mean, I'm the best of what I do. You can trust these glistening eyes. Very well. Let me see what I can see. Let's see your fortune. It's all coming into focus now. Kulimpa! Ah, I see many things. All is revealed. Young man, are you about to head into a densely wooded area? Somewhere blanketed in green. Yes. Ah, my eyes, they, they see all. Trees everywhere. Yes, many trees. It serve you well to buy a wooden shield before you travel. You see that you are a bit young and green yourself. It couldn't hurt to, hurt to take a heart potion with you. Oi. That's all I can see for the moment. My eyes, they grow weary. See me again if you should ever lose your way. Oh. Good luck, young man. I should go get a potion over yeah, here. Yeah. Hey, you there. Yes, you. The adorable boy with the golden hair. Welcome to the potion shop. You can drink our potions when you're injured to fill up your hearts. Hey, one of those knights, aren't you? Or one in training, at least. I'll tell you. One look at you and I can tell you need my potions by the cauldron full. So don't try to slink away without stocking up. Mm -hmm. Oh, dear. Got to ask if you have an empty bottle on you. Just so you know, I can't sell you a potion if you don't have an empty bottle to pour mm -hmm. into. For some reason, I like you, though. I'll give you a spare empty bottle I've been keeping here in the stall. Oh, it's nothing. It's my little gift. So, you won't hear me say this often, but you can put other things besides potions in an empty bottle. It's a useful thing to carry around. You got the thing! That kind of wasn't correctly timed, but whatever. You got an empty bottle, you can fill it with all sorts of useful things. Mm. Empty bottles fit into your adventure pouch. Just minus to take a look. Pull minus and tilt the Wii remote to choose the item you want to use. At least minus to select that item. Easy, right? You ever get to the point where you can't fit any more stuff in your pouch because it's full? You always drop things off at the mm. item check. I have no place what the heck to be doing for her. So, what would you like to buy? I should probably get like a heart potion, shouldn't I? Yeah. That's a vat of heart potion. Drink this to your it will, it will replenish eight hearts. Let me pick some up for your adventure. Only 20 rupees. I'll buy it. Sure. I'll fill on up the heart potion. Probably comes in. A heart potion when placed in your pouch, you can use them to restore eight hearts. <laughs> Thank you, sweetie. If you want a po potion powered up? Go see my husband at the end of the counter. And mix something up. Alright, and I need a- oh, look at this guy. You move, like, back and forth, and he just, like, follows you along the stall there. Like, hope you buy something. Look what happens when you leave. Look how discouraged he gets. And I come back, and he's like, oh boy! Oh boy, there's a potential customer! And then I walk away, and... <laughs> Poor guy. Hey, man. How much for the shield? Ah, that's a wooden shield. Here's the block and repel attacks. Must be careful though, they will break if it takes too much abuse. Oh, and don't forget about fire. It will burn quite easily. An unfortunate property of wood. It'll be yours for 50 rupees. Oh my goodness, I'm just enough. Care to buy it, friend? Sure. Got a wooden shield. Like wooden shield breaks easily and can burn, so be careful how you use it. <laughs> ah, thank you for your loyal and continued preachingage, friend. I've taken the liberty of placing your purchases in your pouch. Press minus to open and then equip what you need. I'm doing almost Fawful speak for him. I could just do like full Fawful voice for him. So what happens if I walk away now? Does he still get discouraged? No, he doesn't because I bought something from him. There, wooden shield. We got the thing. Now, I've pretty much reached the end of the allocated time that I put for this 24 hour stream for Skyward Sword. And this is probably a good place to end it, even though we didn't get anywhere close to where we were hoping to get. But maybe that's a good thing, because this is going to be way more difficult than I originally thought it would be. 
And now, we have a shield. A shield like that. Swing the sword, please! Yeah, maybe it's a good thing we're not continuing with this right now, you know? Okay, let's go save with the bird statue over here. It's over here, right? There it is. I knew it was over here somewhere. Alright, let's save. Let's save real quick. Saved. And yeah, so I'm gonna be calling it for the Skyward Sword stuff for now. I didn't even touch it. <laughs> oh my goodness, what a freaking wacky time this was. I should probably put the gamepad back on the charger here. Squeaky chair. Ow. So what have we got next? Next we have Kinect stuff, right? What have we got here on the agenda? Also, I should probably shut off my Wii U here now. Is what I should do. Oh, the Wii cannot be- Wii U gamepad can't be used to power it off. Fine, I'll use my Wii Remote Rifle then. Bam, done. Throw the Wii Remote Rifle back on that beanbag chair. And I'll turn off the gamepad, there we go. Play some music here. Wait, did I get a response from the... Atari thing? What? Oh, that's just like the other one, okay. Um, Nightbot. Let's just move that back. Alright, so what have we got on the agenda now? Sorry, I just need to adjust that. There we go. So, now we have Connect games coming up, though. Two of them have already been chosen, but there's still an available slot here for something else. And first, we're going with Lavender Skeleton's choice of Wipeout for the Connect. Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy, I guess I better go get that game. But I also haven't had any lunch today, so I'm gonna go quickly grab some food to munch a munch it, and I'll be right back.